Hello, everyone. Let me tell you a story. There is a person I continue to have trouble with. Continue. Maybe one year ago, someone thought, I guess, I should go over that person's house. I guess in the attempt to settle our issues, as in go over and talk to that person and eat over there as well. Okay. the way I was and the way I am, if someone is willing to do evil toward you, why in the world would you eat over that person's house? Why would you do that? If, I guess, if it was a very small issue, if it was something very insignificant, I guess I may have, I guess I would have eaten over that person's house, but I did not. I refused. Maybe some time ago, I learned that person is a witch. Now, let me ask you this. How likely is it that person did something to that food? How likely is it? Or how should I say this? How likely isn't it that person did not put anything in that food? I think that person did. If I continue to have problems with that person, continue. What is the probability that person did not put anything in that food. Look, when you have an enemy, I guess maybe a potential enemy, be careful who you eat from. You may say because you are a Christian, you can do this, you can do that, and you are protected. Okay, now, why don't you jump off of a 200-foot bridge? Why not drink acid? Why not do very mindless things because you serve Jesus Christ? I hope this is making sense. Don't be paranoid, but be very mindful of who you eat from, especially a known enemy. Especially that. How would it look like someone is doing really evil things to me? I come over their house and eat? What? We have to be smart. I believe we have to use wisdom. Don't do anything that is really going to hurt you. I think we know the fruit. What does that scripture say? Something like we know the fruit 
we know the tree by its fruit, something like that. Sometimes I may say we know the fruit by how that person is, how that person acts and, and speaks and stuff like that. We are at war, spiritual war. You can't trust everyone. Everyone who claims to be Christian, I don't think they are. I believe there are some people who want to hurt you. So always have your guard up. May God bless you.